That's right, the Vortex Beast and the Mountain have shown themselves versus Manfred and his Legion of Doom! Ghouls in, ghouls out. Here we go. Brock Kolek want to test him out with his new abilities and stuff. And I want to see what the Vortex Beast, if it still had it in him, to do with the Mortis. Bunch of Marauders. Great weapon and variables and all that. And Marauder Horseman for Vanguard, Manfred, and all his spells. Buna for all my knights. Spirit Leech for all my characters with less HP than him. Very little HP. And of course, it's Forsaken. Zombies, Crypt Ghouls, Skelly Boys with Spears, two Necromancers. Something I haven't been trying, but I might try next time. Bunch of Raised Dead for Bin Rods to absorb and get all that good old Winds of Magic out real quick. And I really like this build. Forsaken knows what he's doing as a Vampire Count player. And he was really worried I was going to bring three Chosen. And boy, if I did, yeah, I probably would have won this outright. But Chosen would have been, uh, Chosen would have definitely been an interesting fight. It's really tough for, especially if there were three Chosen of Nurgle. Three Chosen of Nurgle would really give the vamp counts here a run for the money. You can't Buna them, and your only real choice is to bring Graveguard, and even then, Chosen will just cleave through that. And if I went with my choice of healer, Nurgle healer, for 900 I can get Fleshy Abundance, Overcasted on those Chosen, and there's really nothing to stop them. Corn Chosen or even, yeah, I think between Corn or the Nurgle Chosen, I would probably do Corn because if he does try to Buna them, 35 spell resistance would give me the upper edge and then just healing. I could cleave through the zombies. Yeah, there's really no infantry that they can't beat. He'd have to rely on Crypt Ghouls and even then, with their fire attacks versus their regeneration, it would come out pretty good on their end. Assuming I don't bring anything to deal with the Crypt Ghouls, which would be Marauder Horsemen, Forsaken, and even, uh, what are those? Um, Chaos Warriors with Halberds. And right now we're just doing a lot of Skirmishing. I'm trying to capture points and just hold. He can't commit with Crypt Ghouls. I summon the Chaos Knights, they get hit with Buna. And that's fine. It's better than having my Mutal Vortex Beast with Spear Leech. And I'm just throwing my axes <laughs> in the meantime. Though that Buna did, well, damn near half their HP. And here I go. I thought I put my Marauder Horseman on Skirmish Mode when I sent him in, so... Yeah, apparently I didn't, so I give him a free value, which is a huge mistake on my end. And I gotta keep running around with Kolek while the Mutex, uh, the Vortex Beast is here. We have the Nurgle Sorcerer on his horse, ready to heal when necessary. Sending in one Chaos Knights with Halberds, which will pretty much beat back most things here. Even the Dire Pack will have trouble just chewing through that. And then you have Chaos Knights of Support. I probably could have just sat there, did nothing, and waited. Send the Vortex Beast to start doing its Vortex things. And I start getting a little aggressive. Even though I didn't really need to, I can at least force his hand and take a fight he might not like. And if I start chewing through all these zombies, yeah, there's not going to be much left besides just Skelly Boys and Kripporas. And I can take them. Easy. What I should be doing though, and which interesting is, especially on this horse of Manfred's, this undead horse, um, Colette and him have the same speed, so I can keep charging and chasing. He can keep using his precious Buna on my knights. And my knights, I'm not paying attention, and they get charged and not counter charge the dire pack. This is what happens when you try to be cool. <laughs> Vortex Beast though, having a fun time in the middle, just ruining these Cryptors and the zombies and the necromancer is giving them it's giving some of the units not giving the zombies or the other cryptors the bonuses yeah it's only giving one of those cryptors the bonus which is kind of sad which will explain why the zombies aren't living long enough just being eaten alive by the mutex beast or the vortex beast mutex beast uh but even with that said he is uh 1200 up almost a thousand two thousand nope there we go there it goes. Why did it jump? Oh, because I just started beating back these Cryptors and Manfred with Kolek. He can Spear Leech all he wants, but Kolek will last. And I still have my Nurgle Caster, who's fighting the Dire Pack and winning, which is a bit of a surprise. But they did take a beating from the Chaos Knights when they were trying to fight him. 
there's still 50 models, but not all of them can get engaged. And the Nurgle Sorcerer, even though on horse, is still pretty, pretty tanky. Good armor, good melee defense, poison, all that good stuff. Another Buna. He can only do so many more of those. I think he can only do like three more, probably less because uh, Spear Leech. I might be wrong, but now that Kolek has done his thing, those Krators have ran off. We could actually just chase Manfred with Kolek, honestly. This is my first time really getting to know Kolek. I haven't played Kolek at all since the new update. Speaking of new update, the Vortex Beast, I think, is still kind of trash. But it's doing alright. It's getting its value somewhere. It's doing what it's supposed to do, which is clear all these chaff, provide the debuff, let my Marauders become somewhat chaosy warrior-ish. Boosting hmm? up those stats. Knights fighting the Dire Pack one last time. We now retook our second or er, side objective. But wait! If you look at Forsaken the value that he's been setting up, he's almost at 4,000. And here I'm thinking, oh, I'm doing great! I'm closing the gap. We're even on value and points. And I'm looking like it's going to be a triple cap soon, but wait, we start spending, and what does he bring? We'll see in a second. <laughs> I believe it is the Mortis Engine, yes. Fargolf and a bunch of Zombo Bombos. Skellies, Spears, probably Graveguard, I want to say. The reinforcements he needs, and that I do not want to. Uh, yeah, so in... Response, Forsaken, and Trolls. Trolls for the debuff and the Arbor Piercing for the Graveyard. And then Forsaken just chew through most skellies and zombies, so just better checklers. And even do pretty okay if, against cripples if given the chance. I need to get the Skelly Spearman uh, murdered, and need to get my Vortex Beast out of there, because Skelly Spears actually will get insane value. I've gotten mine to 2,000 on average against... A lot of players who like well, because vampire counts are weak to large targets. They really don't have a great answer to them besides Skelly Spears and Vargles. Thanks to the new update, Vargles have uh, immune flanking. Immune flanking means they don't crumble as soon as you surround them and start beating them with big sticks with mortis engines. Speaking of mortis, uh, this one's trying to beat back the shopping cart, but it doesn't want to go. Here we go with the lightning. Get those spear boys out of there. Cool its ability. And it's not bad. I mean, it's not a grave guard, but you know what? I'll take it. As long as they keep my vortex beast around. That mortis engine, though, is just having fun doing wheelies around everything. What'd I say? Forsaken just beating up on those poor skill boys. With the help of the bile trolls, they should win that. Problem is, I don't have a great way to deal with these carts, the bargles, and all the crypt cores right now. Seeing as how the, Mort uh, the vortex beast is just a chaff clear. Um, and I don't have many Vor er, Marauder Horsemen in reserve, so this is going to be kind of rough. I just have Kolek to keep chasing off units. Crypt Horrors, uh, Cri Forsaken did a great job at dealing with my, almost dealing with my Nurgle Chaos Sorcerer. Forced me to go in there with Kolek, but now here's the other problem, the second Vargul. Vargals are really strong. They were okay before, if not mediocre, because they would just crumble right away. I think their base leadership is 45, but ever since they got immune like uh, not immune like, uh, immune to flanking, man, they get upwards to like 60, <laughs> 50 or 60 if you got them surrounding their uh, enemy units. No, my poor chaos sorcerer, no. Now I gotta try to bully Manfred. At this point, I'm just surrounded. Most of my units are tattered. The stupid, sexy Mortis Engine's doing great. And I got two units of Halberds sitting over there that really need to be over there here to deal with Crypt Horrors. Unfortunately, I don't have them. That's really what this build needed. And I regret bringing Forsaken and Bile Trolls when I just needed Halberds. Just Halberds. That's all I needed. Felbats are annoying, but I can deal with Felbats. Uh, and with the, and my build already had a chaff clear with the Mortis Engine, I really didn't need to bring more Forsaken. I just like Forsaken. This is just me picking units I like, okay? I like Forsaken. They're a nice shock troop, do a lot of damage. And they really did clear those Skelly Spearmen pretty well. 
But now looking at it, down 2,000 value, probably more because of the healing. My Mortis Engine's getting crumped. Cole, I can't be everywhere at once. And I don't have a net to really keep Manfred in place so I can start bodying him with Kolek. Which I feel like this build needs. Just something to keep him in place. I really wish I had like a Tormentor Sword or... Um... What is that? The Cockatrice from... Uh, yeah, Cockatrice. Although that ability kind of sucks. And you only get to use it once. It'd be nice to just beat down on Manfred with Kolek. But yeah, my build's just getting stomped right now. We're down 2,000. We are up for uh, almost 500 points, though. Yeah, something. And at this point, I realize, okay, I'm losing in points and value. If I take out Manfred, that could actually turn the tide. A lot of these his units are tattered. They've been on the field for too long. And he's probably out of Bunas. All he's got left are Spear Leeches, and I can live with that. Stupid, sexy man. For beat him up, Kolek. Hit him with that hammer. Show him why you're called the mountain. Bonk. <laughs> uh, Manfred does not like that. Throwing zombies in the way of my reinforcing units? I don't like that at all. And really looking at it, I probably didn't need to try to push it to his objective. I could have just stayed on mine and waited. I had two Wars of Chaos with Halberds. So Crypt Horrors or anything weren't really going to take him. He'd have to send Graveguard, and if he sent Graveguard... Well, it would suck for the Graveguard. Because I could just send the Vortex piece, maybe? Or even just Kolik himself, if I really needed to. Or even Marauder Horseman. But these Vargles, man, these Vargles, look at that. Even with all the damage, they're just healing back up. They are rough. Manfred, though... Manfred's actually been pretty interesting. I like Manfred. As a choice op option. Even though with him getting beaten up. I really don't have anything to bring Manfred down. And I don't have a great way to deal with Chaff now that the Vortex is gone. If I would have brought something like... <laughs> that Vargle just tossed himself. <laughs> he didn't get hit by Kolek. He just flung himself. Anyways, if I would have brought Archaeon with a burning head, this probably would have been it. Oh, I could have even just brought a Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, with Burning Head and that would have been easier. Probably have more units to go wide and deal with the Chaff, either way. And yeah, that would have been the call. Oh, get him! Get Manfred! He's only at 800. No, left. No, he's at a I don't know, I can't read. And then you have the two Vargles who just can't be beaten. I have, I don't have any more Halberds on reserve, so I'm pretty much stuck here. Taking the beatings. Mortis Engine's just healing up along with the hunger on these Vargles. And yeah, looks like Kolik's gonna go soon. I still have a lot of points, though. I'm not triple capped yet, and he's gonna need to capture my other one before I get there, and I can just keep him distracted. I summon in my sorcerer to hopefully heal him, but these stupid sexy dire pack come in. And I do great damage there on the charge. Jeez, took out almost 20 models on that hit. Flesh heat to get him back up. These dire packs are just brutal, even against Kolik. Oh, man, that is insane how good that is. If I'm going to give anything to MVP, it's probably those Vargulfs and the stupid sexy Dire Packs, man. They did some work this game. Beat up my Chaos Knights, chased away my Horsemen, took out my Chaos Sorcerer, and now they're down in the So yeah, Dire Pack good. <laughs> but whenever I use Dire Pack, they suck ass. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely worth the trade. Now my Chaos Sorcerer is sitting here hoping he can live. And now, on the other side of the map, we're going to fast forward because these Halberds are about to get surrounded, beaten, and to a pulp. And all I needed was 100 seconds at this point. He with all these units, no. And there's no way I'm taking back my home objective. Almost there, almost had it. GG's Forsaken, GG's, you beautiful bastard. Almost had him. Almost, but yeah. Probably Archaeon. Still keep the Vortex Beast. I like... I definitely like the Vortex Beast. Kolek got his value. But he didn't really kill anything. I mean, he killed a lot of zombies. Vortex Beast paid for itself, so I did enjoy that one. I don't know if I need it. I did drop a overcast... Or, yeah. Overcasted, um... Fleshy Abundance on it, so... It might be worth it. It might not be. I don't know. Do more testing on that. And, yeah. Mmm... Other than that, probably drop one of the knights to bring in more Marauder Horsemen and just keep Halberds. Don't really need great weapons because Graveguard, I have that covered. 
And yeah, other than that, I think I could also drop the Sorcerer for more dogs or something. To deal with Dire Pact and Capture Points. And definitely more Marauder Horsemen. Because everything can just beat back Crypt Ghouls. And yeah. Other than that, I could just go Chosen and just have a good time. Chosen of Corn will just mulch right through this build easy. So yeah. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please like, sub, follow me here on YouTube. Thank you for the game forsaking. And also, come see me on stream when you can. Join the Discord. Join in for a game or two, whether it's 1v1s, free-for-alls, all that jazz. Alright, folks, with all that said, y'all have a good one. Peace, and goodbye for now.